Hi, okay, what you'll see here is a 1967 Thunderbolt horse made by, um, made by Mark's Toys. In this video, my pal of toys, I'm going to um, not really look at anything to do with the horse because he is in good condition. The problem that we have got is with the box. Um, so, as you can see, well you can't see, but I'll show you in a minute. I've had a terrible issue with old tape that's been basically put on to reinforce the box. Um, I've already had a good go at removing this, um, which you can see here. And in turn, that's taken a few bits off. I suppose we should be grateful that these bits have been retained and not lost in time due to the tape being attached to the um, sticking it all together but unfortunately it leaves these boxes in a bit of a mess so you can see all down here where I've taken taken the tape away um, and again it was all down there where it leaves a pretty unpleasant residue and again you'll see another piece just in there that front bit other than that, looks okay-ish, but when we look at that bottom edge, it tells somewhat of a different story. So, what I'm going to do in this video very quickly is show you how to um, remove this nasty tape using nothing more than a hairdryer. Okay, so what I generally do... I mean, I've seen this done before, where people apply chemical to these things um, to melt it off, which I suppose you could do. But um, my preferred method of choice is a hairdryer that I'll heat the tape up with and remove all the glue. So the sound for this is going to be pretty unpleasant, so bear with me. I've got it on a hot setting, hope you can hear that find the edge of the tape, heat that up, and you can see it comes off nice and easily. It also stinks of old age when you do it. So um, so bear with it. But if you can see, I'm going to do it on this corner, heat the glue. And gently, gently, uh, it's so sticky. But gently, move that down there. Gently, just move that off. It is so sticky that it's unbelievable of that for sticky tape, I know. Now this is exciting for everyone. If you're bored, feel free to like and subscribe. If you hate the video, feel free to dislike. So you can see there, that edge of tape has completely come away. And the positive thing is, we've still got the Marks logo intact, and we've still got the over 13 inches tall notification on the box as well. Um, so let me continue with this, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to melt the whole thing off. Awful. Like everything else, I think they must have made tape stickier in the 1960s or whenever this was put on here. I'm guessing. There is a lot of glue residue left on the cardboard. This will come off, I think, using a chemical. I've seen some videos where it's used rubbing alcohol and another way you can use another form of adhesive remover 
So there's plenty of videos already on YouTube that go through that for you. So again, nice and gentle. And it's nearly off now, we've got a massive, horrible. Just keep that up. And you know you can see, oh, there you go, that bit's off. Nasty bit on the side here. Oh, horrible. It is so tacky. If you just try to pull this off, I think it would be a disaster. There you go, I mean, that looks, in my mind, looks better than having all that. This blasted, sticky tape everywhere. Once you've done it, screw it up into a ball and put it to one side, because it will stick to everything. So that's off now. Quite frankly, I'm not sure why it was on in the, on in the first place, because it just doesn't need it really. I'll do the same to this piece here. Get an edge, heat it up. It's getting quite hot. Again, apply a bit of heat. If you didn't apply the heat, you could probably just rip this off. But it would pull it would pull the printing off too, I'm fairly sure of that. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, you've lost a bit there. So what I'll do is attack it from this side. There it goes. Oh. We've lost a bit, but That's not a mask.